Hi everybody, this is Angel, and I'm here to tell you how to shop with Boutique 360, our new online shopping service. Boutique is going to streamline everything for both you as a customer and me as a consultant, and I think it's going to make our shopping experience better all around. Just like always, when you're ready to shop, you're going to come to my VIP group, and you're going to scroll down and find the link. For our purposes today, I'm going to switch over to my demo group so I can show you where I've posted the link. When you come to the group, you're going to see where I've posted the shopping link today. It's going to be this big kind of aqua colored box. And you're going to click on that box. You'll be prompted to log in using Facebook. It's great because you don't have to create an extra account. You just link it directly with your Facebook. You press log in and you'll be taken to this screen. You can identify and double check that you're in my shopping group because it will tell you up here what group you're using. On the main shopping page, you can scroll down and see what styles are available, just like always. And then you can click on an album cover to search within that style. So I'm going to take a look at an Amelia. When you click on the album cover, it takes you to all of the items that I have available, and it tells you what size they are and how much they are. Okay, so I'll scroll through and see if there's anything that catches my eye. Now I can filter by size, so if I'm just looking for a large Amelia, I can come up here to this drop down box and do that. Or you can see all Amelias. Okay, so now I'm going to look and see if there's one that I like. Oh, I run out here, so I'm going to be sure to press this load more button, and this loads the rest. But I really like this purple one, so I'm going to click on it. I have a couple of options when I get to this page. If an item has more images, it's going to show you using these radial buttons. And you can switch back and forth either by clicking on those buttons or by clicking on the arrows. And I'm trying to add close-ups for as many garments as I can. If I like this item, I press claim. And then I can either choose to continue shopping or done shopping. For this time being, I'm going to continue shopping. It shows that I'm the first person that's claimed this. And I see that there's only one available and one has been claimed. Now if I'm the next person that comes to this and I want to be next in line, I just press claim next. And it's going to put my name up there and I can clearly see who was first and who was next. If I decide that I don't want it after all, I can just hit this X and it will take my claim off. Maybe I want to share this with a friend in the group because I think that they would like it. Or maybe I want to ask a question about it because I'm not sure still what color it is. The easiest way that I've seen to do this is first to press claim if you are definitely interested in it. Because if you take the time to ask a question and someone else comes along and claims it, that person's going to get it. So if you think you might want it, you can claim it. And remember that you can always come back and unclaim this item. Then to ask a question, the easiest way I've seen to do it is to use the Facebook share function. Press share. A window should pop up and you can choose where to share it. My suggestion is to pull the drop down, say share in a group, and then start typing angel. And that's where I'm going to share this in angels VIP group. And I'm going to ask a question. What color is this? And I would normally tag me. You can normally tag Angel. But since I can't tag myself on Facebook and I'm the one doing this, I'm going to tag Belinda. And I'm going to ask her, what color is this? And that's going to tag me on Facebook and notify me just like normal to tell me that someone's asking a question. Okay. So I'm going to post that to Facebook and I would get my reply over on Facebook. Okay, so I'm going to claim this one, and then if I want to go back and see what else there is, don't use the back buttons. There are internal uh, navigation buttons. They're pink and in the upper left corner. And I'm going to go back to all Amelia's, and maybe I don't want another Amelia, so I'm going to go back to all styles. And I think perhaps maybe I want a Lindsay to go over that. So I'm going to come down here and find the Lindsay kimono and click on that. And I know that I want just a large, so I'm going to filter by size using the filter button. And I'm going to scroll through and see what large is. 
oh, this white one might go pretty with that purple Amelia. So I'm going to choose it. Now I can see that there are more pictures. And I can see, yes, that looks like that'd be nice, but I can't remember the sizing on this. So now I can click the sizing chart here, and the sizing chart will pop up and be a reference for me to use. Okay? So yes, I like that. So I'm going to claim that. Now I can either continue shopping or be done shopping. I'm done shopping, so I'm going to choose done shopping. This form right here is the new checkout form. It replaces the Google form. There's no need for the Google form anymore. So I enter my information here. If you want to enter your birth month for me, you can, in case I decide to send out some kind of birth month goodies. You choose your shipping method. Um, maybe you want to say, ship this uh, or pick up. I can pick up on Tuesday, period. And then I'm going to put in my street address and I'm going to put 145 street address any town Oklahoma. Okay. There's a hostess spot if you are using, if you're shopping in a group that has a hostess. You have to agree to the exchange and care policies, and then you can answer some other questions. And then maybe you have a comment you want to leave me. I would love to see more types of leggings. Submit. Once you fill that out, you're going to get the thank you screen. And when you're shopping with me, you never have to fill that out again. It will automatically pop up your, populate your information. Okay, but let's say I come back later and I decide, you know what, I think I do want another pair of leggings after all. Even though I've already checked out, I can order another pair. So I click on that pair. I can claim it. Here you see that there are three available and one is claimed. So someone else can come along and claim the next pair. And when I hit done shopping, since I've already filled out the form, it's going to add that to my existing order. After you're completely done shopping and after the sale is over, I'll still invoice you through Audrey, through our invoicing system, and you'll still pay as always. This just makes the shopping experience a little bit easier. If you have any questions, please let me know.